Okay, here we are. We're going to do um, Express Scribe and how you load your dictation files. And in this scenario, we'll show you how to load them and then how to find the exact spot on the file so that you can do the test. Um, take your flash drive and install Express Scribe onto your computer first of all. Then you open it up. You can listen to the welcome message there if you'd like. I've already loaded Personal Edge Session 1 and Session 2. The duration is 93 minutes for Session 1 plus 89 minutes for Session 2. So you know that those are pretty good sized files. Over here we've got Personal Edge 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So just for the purposes of this example, we'll go ahead and download or import Personal Edge Session 3 into the Express Scribe over here. So when you want to import files, load them into your Express Player, and then you're going to use your um, foot pedal to listen to these and let me be clear on that it's really important that you use the foot pedal because if you don't you won't be able to get the full benefit of transcription software because you need to be able to back up and listen, re-listen, re-listen. If you do it just as a media windows player type scenario it's never going to work and you will inevitably miss tons of dictation. So load the file. You come over here. I went backwards in my um, tree on my computer here to find this. If you were wondering where you would find that, um, you would just go back um, to your computer, my computer, and this is located on your flash drive or you can copy these to your computer and do it from there. Whatever's on the flash drive. But I want to load um, session three, so I go to highlight that, and if you want to know the rest of it, here we go, and these are MP3 files, then come down here to the button load. And as you can see, it's now loading, and down here at the bottom, you will see the blue going, which means it is in fact loading into your program, which is really important. So when it finishes that, you'll have three sessions now of these big files on your computer from the flash drive loaded into Express Scribe, which is your transcription software program. So let's say that you need to find your report um, that's located in session two. Let me just look here. Where um, session two we want to find uh, a report at point four minutes and oh six seconds for the test and it is located in session one. So we can double click on that and it begins playing, but this would be through your headphones. Try to do the dictation without any help from the printed report until you're through with each report, then check it against the key. And as you can see and down here, it is what errors you've made. going and showing and you how much has played of that mind of some in that file. So, you want to be able to get to that uh, report. You can use your uh, fast forward button this way to go to the position for or uh, you um, most likely move this. Right. If you move this button here, you can move this and it will show you over here what minute you are at. So if you wanted to go to 4, you just keep going until you're back at 4. 345, you press play. 
and you should be able to basically listen uh, up until the point that you need the in terms or fast forward until you're at exactly the right position by this little thing down here and the time meter and you should be when you put your foot on the pedal at 403 by hitting play or hitting your foot pedal you should be able to find that exact report. That's how you move back and forth through these big files to find the reports that you need. Um, you can adjust the volume. Obviously, you can um, toggle between uh, session three, session one. They are loaded already in here. So if you um, are doing the test, for instance, or you're doing the whole practicum, you should load all of your files in there so that they're handy and you have them ready to go wherever you are at the moment. You'll have them to match up with your keys or if you're doing the test, as I say, you can easily find them. So uh, you can move this so you can see it better up here or uh, you can also use your um, little timetable down here to see where you are. And I hope that explains it and helps you with figuring out how to find those files when you need them. Thanks for watching. Bye.